Well, folks, welcome back. Of course, we're going to jump right in, talk about Hurricane Milton, a Category 4 storm right now, and the eye of the storm is still down here. It won't make landfall now until about maybe 10 or 11 hours from now. But what is having problems with is they get the bands and the arms of these hurricanes, and any hurricane that makes landfall always comes with a risk of tornadoes and severe weather, and of course, all the rain ahead of the wind and the storm surge. So a lot of tornadoes going on right now across parts of central Florida. All right, so here's Fort Myers just to the east of there. A couple tornado warnings here and there, even off towards the east coast. Here's West Palm Beach, okay, just to the northwest of there, looking at some of these tornado warnings in place. So this is kind of the, the uh, storm ahead of the storm, if you will, uh, with the tornado warnings in play. Now, hurricane on its way for tonight, okay? So let's take a look at some other notable Florida hurricanes, okay? Let's notice something here. Fort Myers has been hit by a couple of them, Ian, Charlie, and Donna. Here was Andrew, okay, that made landfall down across southern Florida. You look up to where Tampa was, and uh, Fort Myers kind of got the brunt of Ian, Charlie, and Donna. Tampa Bay, though, hasn't really had a direct landfall uh, ever, I don't think. They've been close with Irma, but it was weakening. These storms were weaker when they passed by Tampa. Uh, so this will be the first really major hurricane to make landfall on the west coast of Florida nearby Tampa. And that's why we're looking at a storm surge being historic for that area of 10 to 15 feet. It just hasn't happened before. Looking at rainfall potential, guess what? Heavy rain leads to flooding, right? They're looking at a whole lot of it from Tampa up towards Orlando, even Daytona Beach, a foot to maybe even more than that, foot and a half possible. Now, the good news out of this is that the storm has weakened from what it was, but it's still a major hurricane going to cause a lot of devastation across the west coast of Florida. You have dry air wrapping in, being absorbed into Milton, that's helping kind of destabilize things a little bit. It is still a strong storm. There's also some wind shear in play too. Back here at home in the Ozarks, we're looking for rain. Still on the hunt for it. 16 days since our last rainfall. Not looking at any rain really coming over the next uh, couple 10 days from now. Okay, so even then those chances are pretty slim to end next week. The biggest blast of fall air yet to arrive is on its way though. It looks like Sunday, big front comes through, cooling us down to the 60s with overnight temperatures in the 30s for next week. That is to come after a pretty warm weekend. Low 80s for today, about 50 degrees overnight tonight. Tomorrow, low 80s out there, middle 80s on Friday. And then yes, we might get to 90 on Saturday. That would be a record latest 90 degree day we've seen in the Ozarks by one day. And then cooler and calm again next week. Yeah, well, hopefully that cool down will uh, provide us some relief after a potential 90 degree day. No doubt about that, Tom. Could use some rain. They're going to get plenty of it here in uh, the Tampa Bay area. This actually in Naples, Florida, a live camera uh, a few hours south of Tampa. But, Tom, some people not leaving. I mean, we've got somebody here right now live standing out in the middle of the Gulf. Hanging around to the last minute. And the problem is they have those mandatory evacuations. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean you have to leave, but it means if you choose to stay, help will not come. Yeah. until after the storm is yeah, And we heard that at the top of the newscast. Uh, of course, going to be talking a lot about Milton, uh, especially as it makes landfall early tomorrow morning. Tom, thanks.